So guys, here is the retro part of what essentially is my perfect retro side of things. Now, it's not completely perfect. If it was, I'd be a very, very happy bunny, but unfortunately that's not the case because I don't have the room, even though we've got this. It is a bedroom as well, but so I've got to kind of keep it kind of fine. Yeah, that. But I've got things kind of stored away. So we're going to be looking at like this here, for instance. This is basically my little stall that I'll sit on for a little bit, but it's here for another reason. That reason being, it's full of controllers inside. So it's handy to have as storage. Um, things like Wii remotes, which that one is broken. We know that one. Um, and that one is for the black Wii, which is that side, which is always handy. And then there's a black nunchuck in there as well. There is a Guitar Hero mic in there, which I don't use because, well, I don't stay on Guitar Hero. If I did, me, uh, my glasses would smash and essentially so would the windows. So, I think. But anyway, guys. Now, starting off there, from here you've got basically handhelds. My handhelds, which are beautiful. Um, on top, you've got my PlayStation section, as you would call it. Now, you might be wondering why I have PS1 when the PS2 is backwards compatible. I just prefer to play on the hardware that was intended, if I can. In some cases, it's not always viable, but, you know, that's the way things go. But in there at the moment is what, Final Fantasy IX, because I was playing that last. I, I actually had a look earlier, and I completely blanked out, thinking that they were nothing in there for some reason. But still, hey, that's last. Now underneath you have the DS stuff, which includes my 3DS and my normal DS, which my normal DS is in there, and it's a little zip pouch all protected and handy and whatever else. Um, you've got little card slots in there as well, along with a little pouch for any charging cables you may have, and we'll pop that like that. So let's pop that back there. You've also got my 3DS, which is a new 3DS, which was an absolute steal from a little um, retro shop. I'm pretty sure they thought they had the old DS when they bought this in. And they sold it for, I think 40, maybe 50 pounds. When at the time, second hand ones were going for, at the cheapest we found about 90 at places like Game and stuff like that. But they were all on the special offer. But we managed to get that for an absolute steal. So we were well happy with that. We so only paid We only paid 30, there you go. That's the Mrs. Tokyo, I've been told. <laughs> uh, the joints. No, I always get told. I always do things wrong, so I get told. It's all good. Right, but then going down to there, you've got PS2 stuff. Now, PS2 stuff does actually cover four shelves worth at the moment. There are a few others, and they are double stacked, so you're going to be looking at like things like that, which are double stacked underneath, which I don't like doing, but in some cases, yeah, you need the most. Then you've got my Game Gear. I was after the, one of these for ages and I found one and I did a video on it. The sound had gone on it and it turned out to just be the capacitors inside the soundboard which had rusted up, they died and that were it. No sound through headphone jack or anything. Also I thought the headphone jack did work slightly. If you had it at full volume, you could just about hear what was going on, just, but very, very lightly. So yeah, I was well impressed with that. I managed to get that fixed for, I think about 30 pound, I think, from a nice company that managed to fix it for me. Again, PS2 stuff at the bottom. Then on this shelf here, you have my PSP and Vita stuff. Now I don't have many Vita games on physical copy. I have two, no, three actually. Um, which is Uncharted Golden Abyss, um, Lummins, and also I have the cart of Call of Duty Declassified, which I really haven't played much of. Not too impressed, but, you know, it's, it's a game. I got it for free. I wasn't going to complain. Um, but yeah, you've got my PSP, which is, it is the 1000 model, because I prefer the bigger form factor. Um, in there at the moment is Gran Turismo. PSP, which is always good. I've also got a protective pouch for that because the screen is so renowned for scratching, it's unreal. And yeah, that. 
then you've also got my Vita, which is in pristine condition and it will never be any other thing. It will be always in pristine condition forever. I love that console to bits. It's one of my favourite handhelds. Um, the, the one handheld that ever even comes close to that is going to be the Switch, which, yeah, that. And then you've also got, whoa, there you go, I dropped it. I'm dropping my collection. There you go. That's how clumsy I am. Don't you laugh. So the cameraman's laughing. So, I should have said Tal. Get right, anyway, You've got my uh, little Game Boy Micro. It does get some use. It does get some use every so often. Um, I don't have many games for it, so I don't find myself using that very often. But it comes in a handy little pouch. And if you want to be really cool, you've got a belt clip. Yeah, belt clip. Remember them? Back in the early 90s and in the 80s. <laughs> it's not a fucking pager. <laughs> oh, dear God. And then, I said about the Wii U that I had the docking um, thing for the charging dock for the pad, and I do. It's there. It is plugged in. You can see that show. Oh, does that show on there? A little orange light? Yeah, a little bit. That's alright. That's good. So, you've got the charging dock there, which is all handy. You've also got a few figures. Yeah, just to spruce things up a little bit. And then you have what is essentially my Wii U and Wii collection of games, which is always handy when you've got a Wii or two of. Um, now, I will say one thing I do have a few GameCube games. The GameCube games normally get played on that just because they play a lot better on the CRT. Always play better on the CRT. Um, but you've also got my original Xbox games there. And in every collection, in every collection, you have to have the first Forza and first Halo game. There's no collection without the first Halo game. Um, which I have one of, I have two Halo 2s. One of which is a Steelbook. Um, the only reason I bought it is because it was cheap. I think I bought it for about 99p or something. But yeah, I got that. And like I say, you've got the Wii U and Wii on there. Not got many Wii games, I've got what, six, because there's not that many for it, if I'm honest. It didn't have that much of a lifespan. I think the lifespan of the Wii U was about four, four years, I think. So, yeah, it was kind of like a Dreamcast-esque thing. But, um, and then you've got the babies up top. My original Xbox, which is completely stock. I love it to bits. It's staying like that. Um, underneath that, on the game shelf, you've got my Xbox One games. PS4 games. Recently in my collection, I did a video on it, which is my Kingdom Hearts 2.8, which, may I just add, is brilliant in any manner. But that is awesome. Now, this is where things get more retro to the point that I don't actually have the hardware for the retro games I'm playing. Now, normally I wouldn't go this route, but with collectors basically charging more for the collections that they're selling because they know what they've got it is a little bit awkward to be a retro gamer at this point because the games that are getting sold are getting sold to a point where they are hundreds of pounds getting very close to thousands for rarer games like Earthbound and things like that so I've kind of gone a different route and I'm going to continue to go down that route until one I have the space and two I can afford what's coming out. Sooner or later something will maybe pop up, I don't know, but we'll find out. But that is the Wii up there. It is soft modded with the homebrew channel. Now, the thing is, with that Wii at the moment, it is just a retro machine. That's it. It's a retro machine. There's nothing else I use it for. Now, every so often I'll probably use it for YouTube and Netflix, which I've only just recently downloaded on it. So, yeah, there's that. But, on there at the moment, I'll get my camera on to zoom in. I can do that for me. There you go, it's zoomed in. Now, on there, obviously, you've got a homebrew and a few emulators. Now, I don't condone emulators in any manner. I just don't. But, that being said, on there at the moment is a Nintendo One, Super Nintendo, and Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance ones also play the Game Boy Color and original Game Boy, which is handy for me because a lot of the time, there is quite a bit 
that I can't really play. Um, not because I don't want them or because I can't hold them, because they go for X amount of pounds. And I can't justify spending that money or that much on those games. If I could, I would, but unfortunately, not a rich man. So, that being said, on there, I'm going the emulator route, which isn't, you know, ideal, but as they say, if it works, you use it. Now, like I said, that Wii particularly gets used for GameCube and whatever emulators I've got on there. And every so often, probably Netflix and YouTube, like I said. But anything that's on the Wii actually goes on the black Wii for the other setup. And honestly, I actually prefer it that way. With not having the room, it's ideal for me. So, yeah, that's how I'm working things. Along with the CRT that we've got here, which is, may I just add, a wonderful telly. Despite what people say, or use RGB SCART, something like that for, obviously, an HD telly, which I could do, but I'm not going to. Um, I've tried that, and it didn't work very well. Um, I had a lot of problems, so I kind of went the easy route. And here in the UK, RGB is available on CRTs anyway, so I went that route. That's all set up through RGB. So it all plays perfectly fine and beautiful. So there you go. Yeah. On top of that, obviously, you've got a few memorabilia pieces. You might have seen the last part of the video, obviously, with the little Triforce thing, which I've got two of up there. One of a controller, which I randomly created, just thought I'd do something retro. And then also the Sonic up there as well. But that being said guys, everything that you see down here at the moment is my whole pretty much collection, opposed to all the bits and that which are in boxes, like obviously Wii inserts for controllers and things like that, where you can get a golf club out of it. <laughs> They're always fun. I've done that and I dropped it, which was, yeah, that. But there you go guys, that has been my whole setup. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And in the meantime, I shall see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.